Common question we get is how to degas and regas your MCS dampers when you've got remote reservoirs with quick disconnects. One of the first steps of this is to make sure the damper is in full extension, that the damper is cooled off. And then before you undo these QDs, you've got to degas the system. So to do that, we're going to take this MCS shock inflation tool, make sure that this piece is backed all the way out. Screw this on, tighten it up just a hair, and then we will activate this, so to speak, by screwing down this into the Schrader valve. And now we have gas pressure shown on the gauge. You wanna degas it by taking the Schrader valve cap that came off the damper and just bleed it down. Now we're at zero. Now we can go ahead and undo the QD. If you don't bleed this down, you're gonna have a tough time getting it back together because this system is still pressurized on this side of the QD with gas. Now we can put it back together Make sure it is snug and connected. Just give yourself some quick hits. This thing does not take much gas pressure. And then I'm gonna bleed it just a hair to get to 175. And now we are completely filled. Need to undo this valve, pop this free, and we are gassed up and ready to rock. A little tip to help remind you if this system is full or not is there's a little groove right here and these small zip ties can fill in that little spot and prevent you from popping this back. So that's a little safety precaution that will make you think, okay, uh, the zip ties there, I know that I'm full. Also, it won't allow it to pop back. So just a little note that makes it nice as a reminder if you're full or not and no, not to disconnect that QD.